So at the beginning of our road trip through Northern Ontario, you asked why the road trip was called Manitour and Moonbeam or Bust. Well, I still don't understand why it's called Moonbeam. Well, now we're going to find out. It's a virtual cache. One cache? One minute. Cue the title. And start the clock. Beam us up. It's big. Wow, that's different. <laughs> yeah, well, that is different. <laughs> Did you see the aliens? Aliens? Come on. Whoa. So this is why we came to see the virtual Moonbeam UFO. Now, why is it called Moonbeam? I don't know. I don't know. Me neither. Let's go take a look. The name Moonbeam is attributed to early pioneers who witnessed flashing lights falling from the sky, which they called moonbeams. These lights could have been reflections of moonlight off a nearby creek combined with the northern lights. It's also possible that railway passengers were struck by the brilliance of moonlit snow from the clearings near the town. Nevertheless, there is no documented proof of the exact source of this name. Well, there you go. Moonbeam UFO. <laughs> that was it. All you got to do is take your picture at the Moonbeam UFO in Moonbeam. In Moonbeam. We're here. Yeah, there you go. So ready? Take your picture. One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Okay, yeah, that, the long haul was all the way up here just to get to Moonbeam, and now we got to go home. Beam. Just to get to Moonbeam. We moonbeamed, we didn't bust. <laughs> no, we didn't. You're right. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, and where will geocaching take you? If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. And toggle the notification bell. And consider maybe looking at our Patreon page and subscribe as a patron. Patreon.com slash Cash Canada. There's a black fly walking around the lab. There is. You little bugger.